I'm assuming that's what the phone call was for, but I don't, I don't know what the procedure is now. I'm phoning back because I was called about um, my, my results from some of my tests. Yes. No, not a, no, not to book an appointment. Just they called and left a message for me to call back. Sure, it's Washington. Washington. Maureen. And it's early. <laughs> Just had a 24-hour monitor, and I think it's the results. Yes. I'm assuming that's what the phone call was for, but I don't. I don't know what the procedure is now. Yes, I have to drive up to Nanaimo to go pick up a friend from the airport today. <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. But in, but at this point, you know, I'll be out in my on my uh, little urban farm here, so I'll be out in the in the garden and planting potatoes again. <laughs> All right. Great, thank you. Bye bye. So the phone call I received was just to make a telephone call so that the doctor can call me. So anywhere between 10 and 3. So got to have my cell phone handy and charged up. So we'll get to hear what the results are. Well, I figured that I better do a follow-up about my 24-hour health monitor. So let me give you the details of that. You know, for those of you that are like me and you're not a medical person, I am just going to read this out anyway. Um, so I was monitored for 23 some odd hours and there was a total of 99,990 beats. Only 1% were ventricular beats. Less than 1% were supraventricular beats. Rhythm is normal, no significant pauses, abnormalities, nor a fib flu. So basically the doctor told me that I have premature ventricular contractions. PVCs. What that means is extra heartbeats that begin in one of the heart's two lower pumping chambers in the ventricles. These extra beats disrupt the regular heart rhythm, sometimes causing a sensation of fluttering or skip beats. Da, 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 da. So the symptoms are fluttering, pounding or jumping, skip beats or missed beats, increased awareness of the heartbeat. And they, he basically just said, you know, due to my age and, you know, whatever else has been going on, that it, it basically is just that the electrical circuits in my heart are not behaving properly. And he did say follow up if it gets worse, but he said there's no reason for concern. And, you know, one of the things here, it says occasional premature ventricular contractions in people without heart disease usually aren't a concern and likely don't need treatment. You might need treatment if the premature ventricular contractions are very frequent or bothersome, or if you have any underlying heart condition, which I don't have any underlying heart condition, but there are heart issues uh, with my grandparents. And so that does give me a concern. And also because in the past, I have had a pulmonary emboli where I had a blood clot stuck in my lung many, many, many years ago. And so those things bother me. And the other thing that kind of bothers me through all of this is I've never been seen by any doctors. I'm passed off from thing to thing and on the phone. And so, you know, nobody's taken my blood pressure. Nobody has looked at me or anything like that. But then, on the good side of it all, the irregular arrhythmias that are going on, they're becoming less and less and less frequent and less intense. So, you know, me waiting it out the three months and then finally going and seeing someone when it's possibly on its way out. So that's one thing that's good. But, you know, I'll keep an eye on it. But for the most part, Mama's just fine. So thank you for all your concern and for uh, hanging out with me. And I just thought I'd give you an update. So I hope you're having a great day wherever you are. It's freaking hot outside, so I'm working on the computer. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Take care. God bless.